Hello my friends, I have a massive, massive Little Black Bag haul for you. If you've never heard of Little Black Bag, Little Black Bag is a really fun website. It can be very addicting, but there are some positives and negatives that I will get into as I go through this video. So basically what you do is you pick out your item, they give you your mystery stuff, and then you get a chance to trade your items with other users for us for seven days. Hello to my friend who has a channel called Little Black Bag Addict. I, I was thinking about you when I was getting all of this stuff together, and I hope you really enjoy this video. Let me just get into what happened happened and how I ended up with so much stuff. So my first bag that I opened up, I got this bag here. It's by Elise Hope. It's like a croc looking print. This bag is the croc hobo and I had my eye on this for a really long time. It had been on the site forever and I just really wanted it. So I finally broke down and got it. The retail price on this bag is $90. Uh, all the things I got in that order cost me about $65. So this here and then I also got these ears earrings. These are by Katherine Stein Designs and they're just some really cute little stud earrings and the retail price on these was $16. I do feel like that's a little overpriced for how I feel like these are kind of I don't know, not that they're cheap looking, they just don't look, they're just not real nice. I don't know, I guess they're about right, $16. One thing I wanted to show you about the bag is, that I forgot to show you, is it does come with one of these dust bags. Uh, it is very thin, uh, but you know, it's a nice dust bag. Do, 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 at least hope. And then let me show you the inside. It does not come with an extended shoulder strap, but that is the print on the inside. So you've got the zipper in the back and then you've got pockets in the front here. Uh, they're just, it's two pockets, a bigger one and a smaller one. One thing I think is kind of strange is it's got this plate here, but there's nothing on it. It's just blank, which I think is kind of odd, but it's not distractingly odd. The way it feels inside, it feels like a satin, like just like a, like a, maybe like a satin scarf you may get at Target or something. It doesn't feel anything spectacular, but it doesn't feel super cheap either. Uh, it is relatively thin. I would imagine this would rip after maybe about a year's worth of solid wear. This would probably rip on the inside. Uh, the zipper feels really good. I do like that it zips closed in the top. I'm always dropping things out of my bag, so I love bags that zip in the top. The hardware is silver. Uh, it does have a zipper here on the back. It has the same print on the inside, and overall, I am really, really happy with this bag. All right, the next thing I got in that order was this bracelet, and this is by, this is by Carol Dauplaise, and it is called the Round Opal Stretch Bracelet, and it does stretch. So that's how the stones look. You can see you've got the two stones here and then the larger stone here. This is not real opal uh, and, and it's just a really cute just basic bracelet. On the inside the elastic is clear. I don't know if you can see that there. And I really like this bracelet. It's super cute. The last thing that I got in this order which I'm really happy with and I don't have the packaging anymore is this Kenneth Cole watch. I needed a watch. I actually gotten a watch on Groupon and it came broken. But I, I took a while to try to replace the battery, see if I could fix it, and by the time I replaced the battery, I could not uh, return it, and I was really upset about that, so I needed a new watch, and this is the Kenneth Cole New York Snakeskin Watch, and it's just really pretty. It's very well made. Nothing too fancy but just really cute. The retail price on the bracelet was $24 and the retail price on the watch was me, 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 me. $95. Uh, so yeah, so I was really happy for $65 to get both the purse and the brace and, and the watch and the earrings and the bracelet. And there was actually something that I had ordered. I had just gotten some subscription box that had a blush from Pandora's makeup box and I was really excited about it. I really liked the blush so I wanted to try some of their eyeshadows. Well, I, I had ordered this very cool eyeshadow palette kind of see if you can see on my phone. So I got this, I traded for that. And then little black, little black Bag is relatively good about getting things to you quickly. So I guess it was maybe a day or two later I got this email and it says, we hope you are well. Unfortunately, we were not able to process your order fully due to a warehouse error regarding the Pandora's makeup box, very cool eyeshadow palette, $48 retail. We're so sorry about this because this happened during our warehouse guarantee. We have added 10 times the add to bag price of $27 which is $270 in merchandise credit on your account. And I went, Ugh. what? 
like I cannot, I couldn't believe it was real. $270 in merchandise credit. So immediately I put it on my Instagram, like you have got to be kidding me. So everything else that I'm about to show you, I got completely free. Now I would have been happy with two times the retail price. Like I'm not going to complain that they gave me 10 times, but I just think that's a little excessive. Like I don't want to see them go out of business over something like that. Like it's just craziness. So I'm not going to complain, but at the same time, I think that was a bit excessive, the 10 times the amount. And I did spend it. Now I don't know if it's because they know I make videos. I've never spoken with any representatives from Little Black Bag personally, so I don't, I don't know. But I do know that every time I upload a Little Black Bag video, it does go directly to their site. So maybe they know that I'm going to show all their stuff and that's why they gave me 10 times. I don't know. But I did get some stuff and I do want to show it to you. So going into my second order. Uh, not getting the eyeshadow that I wanted. I ended up getting this cargo eyeshadow quad in my second order and this is amazing. I love, love, love this eyeshadow quad. Let me show you. So that's the way it looks in the pan and these are the swatches on my fingers. Here's a hand swatch. Now they don't look super, super pigmented, but it's really nice because they're very buildable. One thing that's really unique about these is that they're very buildable. So they start off being relatively light, but they're very easy to build to the next level. Also, they're very easy to blend. They're mostly matte. Um, I would say the brow bone one is matte. The crease one is matte. The lid and the outer corner ones have just a tad bit of shimmer, but just the tiniest, tiniest little bit. Makes for a beautiful eye look using these for the specific things that it says here. And in love with this palette. So happy with it. The next thing I got, I figured since I was getting it, I would get another eyeshadow brush because I've never tried eyeshadow brushes from Michael Marcus. So the retail on the Cargo palette was $34. So the retail price on the Michael, Michael Marcus brush is $26. Um, I do really like this brush. I don't know if it's worth $26, but it is really nice. One thing I love about this, let me show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but the way that it's tapered, it's tapered downward. So the shortest bristles come here and then it goes up to the top. And why I like that is because the product hangs onto the tips of the bristles. So when you're trying to get a color to stick to the brush, it's really nice when it's tapered down that low so that it picks up lots of product. It's also very, very soft. I haven't seen any shedding yet. The ferrule looks like it's on there very nicely and just really happy with this brush overall. Next, I got some threader earrings. I am wearing the gold ones today. The way these things work is, ew, I know it's really creepy how they work. Let me see if I can get them out. You see how they're like that, and there's like a little chain here. That's the part that goes in your ear, uh, that like hangs in your ear, and then you just kind of feed it through your ear. And I absolutely love the way these things look. And I never, uh, I never get them uh, except for when I add them to the bag. Now they were having like a serious, serious sale, so I got a ton of stuff added to the bag without having to spend a lot of my credit. And this was one of the things that I got. These were retail thirty-five dollars, and I want to say they were only like ten dollars to add to the bag. So I got two pairs of these. I got the gold, and then I got a rose gold pair. I also got these threader earrings. Oh, and the retail on those threader earrings are, I think, $35. Yep, $35 a piece. I also got these threaded earrings and I am actually not happy with these. I had gotten ones that were like this before and they did fall out of my ears. I lost one of each pair that I had. I had a gold pair and a silver pair and I lost both. So I thought I would try them again because they have this little thing that's supposed to prevent them from falling out of your ear. But the problem is, is this is so big it does not fit in my ear. So I cannot get these into my ears. If you have, if you're used to wearing very heavy earrings, if your holes are big, you will probably be fine with these. I am not used to wearing heavy earrings, so therefore these did not work for me. Uh, unfortunately, one of the negatives of Little Black Bag is it is quite a pain to send things back. So I don't typically send things back to them. I try really hard to make sure that I have things I really like so that I don't have to worry about sending them back. It's expensive to send them back, and then the credit system is just ugh. Uh, and again, those are uh, $35 retail for those. I also got these Robert Rose earrings and these were not getting any love on the site and I can see why because you know they're very big. I did wear these out one night and I got a ton of compliments on them. So the retail price on these is $20 and I do feel like it is worth the $20. Uh, they are very heavy though so if you don't like heavy earrings these will not be for you. The next thing that I got was this necklace and this actually 
Ooh, it looks pretty cheap, but at the same time, it really does look cute on. And this is by, this is by Lolita. And I typically like Lolita jewelry. And I just really, I think it looks really cute on, even though the gold looks a bit cheap to me. Uh, all the little pearls are in, and then it's got these little rhinestones down the center. And I'm really enjoying wearing that. And this was called the Studded Bow Pendant. Okay, so two more things that I got in that order, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Okay, so the last two things that I got are uh, these two bracelets by Unearthed by To Hell in a Handbag. And that's the Live, Laugh, Love Charm Bracelet. And then the other one is, I believe, the Infinity Charm Bracelet. And I forget the names of the stones that... Please excuse the kids' chatter in the background. My husband's watching them, but I can't keep them silent. Uh, so they're both, they're, they both are made with real stones, which I love. I, I don't know, I've probably never mentioned this in a video before, but I absolutely love rocks. I think rocks are just really fun and cool. Um, just because they're made in nature and they're old. Like, I just think, and they're colorful and neat, and they're all made different ways, and they have different minerals in them, and I just think they're cool. So uh, I love that they're real stones. This, I'm not real sure if I really like this little Live, Laugh, Love charm. I think it's a little bit cheesy, but I do like the little infinity one there. I may end up taking this off and just wearing it as just the pink stones. Uh, but, but really, really loving these and enjoying these. They're really fun with just a t-shirt and jeans. And even after getting all of that, I still had quite a bit of credit left. So I went nuts again and went shopping again. And I got a ton of jewelry and I got three pairs of shoes. And I'm telling you, even when you don't have credit, Little Black Bag has been going nuts with their sales. They have like flash sales on certain brands or on jewelry well they'll say ten dollar shoes or they'll say five dollar jewelry or i mean they've just been going crazy lately with their sales so i've been able to get a lot of stuff and this bag that i opened i actually opened with this purse and this is by ivanka trump yes mr trump uh his daughter and the retail price on this is 150 dollars. and i don't know how much they were charging for it on the site but i know it wasn't 150 dollars. i want to say it was maybe 60 and i love this purse i have not carried it yet because i was scared it was going to get dirty before before I could show it to you. So I wanted to show you that. It's got this really cute, very easy to open and close front closure. The gold detailing is beautiful. Look inside. It's got the gold inside. It's kind of a bronzed gold. Well, I don't know, bronze. It's gold inside. It's got the back pocket here. The zipper actually, let me show you this. I don't know if you can see in there if it's bright enough, but the zipper here actually already fell off and I haven't even used it once. This came open and the zipper part fell off. I think it's in here somewhere, yeah. Here it is. This is what it had looked like, and it came off. I can probably repair that. It's not that big of a deal. But the zipper seems like it's pretty good quality. It's just that the little tag fell off. So it's got a pocket back here, a, thick, a thin pocket there. It's got two pockets, two pockets there. It's got the zipper there, and then it's got a pocket back in the back. No pocket back here. So, I mean, it is really cute. The inside does feel very crunchy, a little bit cheap, which surprised me from Ivanka Trump that she would put out something that feels like that on the inside. Um, but, you know, I mean, they're trying to manufacture a bunch of handbags, and they're trying to make some profits. So, uh, this is not adjustable, uh, the strap. I do like it, though, and I do think it's a really cute purse. It's just I don't think that it's worth the retail price of, what was it, $150? I would never pay $150 for this. Uh, I would say this is worth maybe $50 or $60. I would, I think that people would pay for that in the store, maybe $50. It is a, it's a, it's a cute bag, and I like it a lot. It's just not $150 cute. Uh, let me show you the shoes. This one is by Pink Pepper, and I wore these to a rehearsal, not rehearsal, I wore it to a wedding reception last night, and I got compliments on them. They're super cute. Uh, just, you know, these, these cork wedges, and they're very cute. I like them a lot. Okay, these are called Called the Cindy Wedge and the retail on these is $59 and they're very comfy and cute they fit me nicely these are other ones I added these to bag I think for like $10 and these are the Mia Girl Brandy Flats and they are really really cute they fit me nicely as well loving those and then the last pair of shoes they actually sent me the wrong shoes uh, this one is I ordered the Delray sandals and they sent me the Del something else sandals uh, I don't really care for this style but I am gonna keep them and wear them even though I don't really like them I did contact them and tell them they sent me the wrong style but I haven't heard anything back I mean I did get them for free so I'm not gonna complain about it yeah these are the Del 
Del Mar sandals. If I had paid for these, I would have been upset if I had to return these. And, and hopefully, I think that they do pay the return shipping if they make a mistake. But yeah, uh, that was not so cool that they did that. But you know, it is what it is. The Del Rey sandals were much, much, much cuter. Then I got a bunch of jewelry as well. These were getting like no love on the site. These are by Katherine Stein and they're the butterfly earrings. And I just absolutely love those. Um, I love the, it almost looks like a lace here. It's just really, really pretty. And the little tiny stones, I didn't realize there were little tiny stones in there. They're just really cute. And the backs there. I'm not a big fan of these circle backs, but I can always break those off. And the retail price on the butterfly earrings is uh, $12. And I definitely feel like these are worth $12. I did get the Stefan and Company Bar Pendant Necklace. Retail price on this was $24. And I got compliments on this as well. This is one that is like so ugly that I think it's cute. Uh, I really like this. I mean, I know it's, it's a little, it's a little, I don't know. Like it's just a little edgy. Uh, but it's got like the diamonds and the bars and I, I don't know. I like it. I, and nobody was wanting to trade me for it. Uh, you know, but I, I really think it looks nice uh, with the right kind of outfit, you know, like a, a, a white shirt or, you know, a black shirt, um, something that's a little more edgy. Uh, really like that. Next we got, I got the geranium earrings. I actually got these in white as well, but these are the pink ones and those are just cutie little bows. Basic, cute, good quality. Retail price on those is $22. I do feel that's quite overpriced for those. Next, I got this necklace by Jarden. Now, these are not real stones, but I do really like them a lot. Um, and this is the large stone cord necklace, retail price $30. And I really like this, even though it's not real. Um, I think it's cute. Um, you know, goes with this outfit. And then uh, all the Rage earrings. I lost the little uh, the little paper that these were on, but I'll show you. These are really cute. Okay, and these are called the f just flower earrings, and they had black ones and white ones, and I just really like those a lot. I think they're super cute. They're very springy and fun. These are so cute. <gasps> this is one of my favorite things that I got. These are adorable. These, I added these to my bag, and I am so thankful. They are so cute. These are called the bird flower earrings. And they had these in white and in blue, but look at the detailing on there. Just really adorable. Every time I wear these, I get compliments. Just so stinking cute. And the retail price on those is uh, $34. I would say these are definitely at least $20 earrings. They are really cute. I don't know about $34, but $20, I would definitely pay for that. Uh, next, I have not worn this because I do not like it. I think it looks really cheap. Uh, it is the Katherine Stein Designs, and it is called the beaded bracelet set uh, and they haven't been separated yet I just feel like this looks like children's jewelry it just looks cheap um, I'm just not happy with this at all I don't know it just looks really super cheap to me I'm, I'm not a fan of that uh, and then the Robert Rose stone bracelet I really like this one a lot this one's really pretty it does look a little bit cheap but I'm happy with it uh, the oh by the way the Katherine Stein designs beaded bracelet set was retail $22 this was retail $24 I could see paying 15 bucks for this. Uh, it's cute, but it's not all that. It's okay. Um, but I, I have worn this and I do like it. So they also did not send me the Lydell NYC stone bracelet. I really wanted that. I didn't get it and that's okay. I'll be all right. Um, but I am sad I didn't get it. And I did get this Jardin semi-precious bracelet. This is really, really cute. And I love this because this is real rose quartz. And I forget the name of this stone, but I, you know, like I was saying, I love real stones and this is just adorable. And I have gotten quite a few compliments on this piece as well. So that's it for my little black bag giant enormous haul. I do still have a little bit of credit left. I've got about $40 worth of credit left even after getting all of this. So that just goes to show how inexpensive a lot of these items are on the site. Uh, so definitely go check it out if you're in the market for some new jewelry. Uh, I do feel like some of their products are hit or miss. I don't like their return the way that they do returns, but it is a lot of fun to trade on Little Black Bag. And I, I at one point I said I wasn't going to do it anymore just because I felt like the quality was going down and I don't like the return return policy but I this this kind of re-energized me in that I like about 85 90 percent of the stuff that I got so I, I think I will be ordering from them again even after my credit runs out so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if this is the first video you're seeing of mine thank you so much for watching mad love my friends and I'll see you soon bye